A very sad story coming out of Illinois as a 23-year-old mother has lost her life in what was a completely senseless act, but one we see happening far too often. We're going to get into all the details of it, guys, in just a second. First, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. It was on a Sunday evening uh, that this took place, um, the night of October 17th, and Melanie Yates uh, was in her home with her seven-month-old daughter around 9, 9.30 p.m. in the evening, uh, doing all things, reading her daughter the Bible. Um, that's amazing right there in itself. Any parent uh, that is willing to sit there with their child at such a young age and read them the Word of God and getting that into their system so young, uh, in my mind, in my book, is already an amazing parent. It was not long after that, however, that a stray bullet had come directly uh, through the window there of the home and struck Melanie in the head as she was reading the Bible to her seven-month-old daughter. She was rushed to the hospital. They did everything that they could to save her. Unfortunately, it was announced uh, on that next morning, actually, on Monday around 10 a.m., that Melanie had passed away from the gunshot wound. Again, at just the very young age at 23 years old. Now, they're saying that she wasn't the target of this shooting. We hear that so often. You, know, you look at Chicago, you know, here she is from Zion, Illinois. If you look at Chicago and how many times we, we see these stories every single weekend of these violent weekends in Chicago, you know, you know, numerous, you know, multiple people shot, multiple ones are fatal. You know, uh, the numbers are crazy intense right now. And they've, they've gone up every year. And I think so far in 2021, they're, I think it's the highest that it's been. And she was not the cause of the, you know, she was not the target. But even still, these are innocent people that are losing their lives because of what's going on. Because really, Chicago, that whole area is, is a lawless state right now. And the fact that that's what she was doing the moment that she left this world and entered into heaven. I mean, I can only imagine her being in the arms of Jesus, going from reading the Bible to her daughter to then being with Christ in that moment and then him telling her well done my good and faithful servant um for her seven month old who I, I i don't know what that child must have been thinking obviously not understanding it her mom is not responsive uh, after the gunshot wound the child was not harmed at all nobody else in the house was melanie leaves behind her husband not just uh the one seven month old but she has another child as well her mother talking about just what an amazing daughter that she had, what an impact she made on so many people in their lives and how she just can't be replaced. Um, I, I hope that for her daughter's sake, for the seven month old, that they, uh, they tell her as she gets older what a wonderful woman of God that her mother truly was. This is somebody that was just in her own home. They weren't even out and about or anything like that. This bullet comes through the home and strikes her uh, as this violence continues. Uh, prayers for this entire Yates family, that God would be with them all, uh, the children, the husband. Um, it's just tragic. And we can only pray that God would turn this around for good, like it says in his word. And you know, 95% of the time here in this channel, we talk about end time Bible prophecy headlines and the urgency to get people to Jesus in this hour. But when you hear things like this happen, even more the reason that if you have not yet made the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, well, we want to give you that chance right now. You want to know that however you leave this world, when you do, that you are in the arms of Christ when it happens. Because for Melanie's sake, she didn't know that she was going to be leaving last week. So I'll lead you in a prayer right now of salvation. You can put this prayer in your own words. I'll give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord. Here's the first thing that you want to do, and that's acknowledge that you're a sinner. It's something that we all are, but God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do, though, is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle, a habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then... You invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, 
you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Again, prayers going out to Melanie Yates' family, that God be with them at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.